Okay, I'm going to talk about setting up the Facebook section specifically when you activate a vendor, uh, you know, a person who signs up for the account, how does that post automatically to your Facebook page? Um, uh, I'll be honest, this is a little bit uh, difficult. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Unfortunately, Facebook makes it tough. Um, so I'm going to do my best to walk you through everything and hopefully, um, you, you know, you'll be able to do that. All right, so what I'm uh, going through is the vendor section and how when you approve, basically you have to approve somebody. Once you approve them, or actually I should use the word activate because that's what we're going to be doing is activating them. Once you activate a, an application or a new vendor or whoever's going to be posting to your website, once you click that activate button, it's going to post to Facebook. All right, and then what I'm talking about is under the vendor section, Over here on the right, if someone has newly signed up or is trying to sign up or that kind of a thing, instead of saying deactivate, it'll say activate. I don't have anybody. Well, I guess I could real quick just so you could see it. So it'll say activate, right? So you would click that, and once you click activate, that's going to publish to Facebook automatically. All right? Don't worry about this. This is in Sandbox. This is not that big of a deal. I would totally ignore this. Um, sandbox is a testing area. So once you do that, it's going to publish to it, okay? So to that point to where we can uh, activate and, and, and publish. Well, um, a couple different steps. What you want to do is enter in specific PayPal information, and we do that under the Theme Options panel. You want to find Social and Marketing. And then this last tab, Facebook API. We need to enter these bits of information, okay? So to do that, go through Facebook. Um, it's the only way, unfortunately, but we have to. Um, so what you want to do is you want to type in developers. If I could spell, that would be nice. Facebook.com. All right, see that? If you're not logged in, log in. I'm already logged in. And then what you're going to want to click is apps. Write new app. Fill this out. So what do you? I mean, whatever you're gonna call it, so you know it. So, you know, vendors app, you know, whatever, something like that. So I'm gonna do testing, delete. So I remember to delete this. Then your category. I don't. That's up to you. You know what? You know what is this lifestyle? Is it you know news? Whatever. That's you know. That's up to you. Okay. That's all you need for this uh, for this section. Hit continue. We'll do the crazy capture. Hopefully, I will enter this in right because they are always difficult. All right, so that's done. Here we are. So here's the name that you that you you know the name that you chose, vendor category, vendor app, whatever you call it. Your information. Then what you need to enter is your domain. So I think it's. You know, if it's www.site.com, that's what you would enter in there. Okay? And if it's multiple, you would do that. And then when you're done, you save your, excuse me, let me back up. Before you hit, hit save your changes, what we want to look at is this right here. See this information? App ID, app secret. All right? If you remember, right here, app ID. Here's the secret. <laughs> one and two, which is this one, one and two. All right, and one last step is we actually need to get the Facebook ID page, um, or the page ID, excuse me. So it wouldn't be something you would get from your just your regular like timeline or your wall. You'd actually have to have a, like, like for here, this is a, a business page and you'd have to come to the, your actual page and then you'll see edit page. Let's click that and then we want edit settings and what you can see is your ID in there. Alright, so what we would want is this number here. I know Facebook does not make anything easy for us and what you're asking, you know, this, this, this setup here is, is tough. So, <clears throat> let me backtrack real quick. We need three things. We need 
the Apple ID, we need the app secret, and we need our page ID. So basically the page ID where it's going to forward that information to. So the first two, these two things take care of the actual app and how it's going to work. This one tells it where to display when you approve an actual account. Um, and then remember to do that, what we do is we go into developers.facebook.com, create a new app by clicking this, filling out the information that we went over, okay, and then entering the information in here. And once you're done, just go ahead and hit save, and you should be set for publishing vendors to your Facebook section.